Hi, welcome back to Therapy Designs. If you're new to this channel, my name is Kelly and this channel is all about how to create print on demand designs using Canva. So if that is something that you're interested in, please do stick around. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can create this design right here. This is a sharp design that has a little bit of splatter to it. If you would like to learn how to create this and learn a little bit more about this niche, go ahead and stick around. Welcome back. So I am on Canva's homepage right now and I'm just gonna go ahead and start with my blank canvas. So to do that, I'm gonna go to the top right hand side of the page. You'll see it says custom size. Uh, you can click there. Here is where you can go ahead and put your width and height and you can select pixels, inches, whatnot. I'm gonna select 4,500 by 5,400 pixels and it is gonna pull up a blank page for me. Now here you can design for any color background you want. I'm just gonna optimize mine for black because black is the number one selling t-shirt color. So I do like to optimize my designs for black. Let's go ahead, click on your blank screen, go up to the left hand side. You'll see a little box that will say background color and go ahead and select black. Um, now this is going to be a graphic only design. So I've done text only designs, text and graphics. This one is just going to be graphics. Um, whenever you do do graphics, always make sure that you change something. You can't just put a graphic on and stick it up on a shirt. So you do have to make it your own, but we are going to go ahead and go with some sharks. And the reason we're going to do that is there is a very particular week that comes up every year at the end of July. That is very popular. I'm not going to say it, but it has to do with sharks. So I'm going to go ahead, go to the left-hand side of my page where it says elements, and you can go ahead and do a search for sharks. And now there's tons of different shark designs that you can do. I am just gonna show you one really easy style. So you'll see all sorts of different graphics here. What I'm looking for is more of that sort of watercolor style design. And I can be as specific as I want. I can go ahead if I wanted to and just type in watercolor sharks and see if that brings up anything. Okay, so now I've got some cool watercolor sharks that I can work with. And I do wanna pick probably three different sharks that I like, preferably different sharks that actually look like different kinds of sharks. So I want them to look different. I'd love to get a little bit of a contrast here. So pick any that you like. So right now I've got my great white, I've got my hammerhead. Let's see if I can find one more that I like that's a little bit different. Um, I'm just gonna keep scrolling and see what I find. That one there kind of works. What is this? So I think this is a whale shark and I can click these little three buttons and it'll tell me right here. So it says whale shark. And when I clicked on that, I got some magic recommendations. So I can click see all on those and see if there's any other ones that I like. So here it's got a few different kinds of whale sharks from different angles. I do think I like this one here. It's a little bit different. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go with these. So I've picked out my three sharks. I want them to fill the page pretty big. It's always nice to have something nice and big in the page. And the cool thing about these particular sharks that I really like, I'm gonna go ahead and angle this one right here, is that they fit together pretty well. Um, so I like the composition. So the composition is the overall layout of a design. It not only fills the page well, but they fit together well. And I've got um, sharks from below, sharks from kind of more above or the side. I've got, you know, facing this way, I've got facing that way. I've got these ones are a little bit lighter. Or this one is a little bit darker. So the composition of this design, I actually really like. It looks like it kind of flows really nicely for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna stick with this. Now what I wanna do is kind of add just a little bit of a splash to the background, something that's gonna give it a little bit of kind of a, a splatter look. Um, I want it to kind of look like they're in water, ideally. And um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and go over to Elements. And we're gonna go ahead and this time I'm gonna put in something like, I want like a blue or different shades of blue. And I'm just gonna put splatter and see what comes up here. And so now there's a lot of different fun blue splatters and I can use, you know, all sorts of them here in different sizes and I can just kind of layer them on top of each other and overlap them. Um, by the way, I don't necessarily want them on top of the sharks. I do want them more below the sharks. So to do that, I can click 
and I can hit control and then my left bracket. And I do that a couple of times, three times in fact, because I need to send it to the back. So these are all different layers. So now it is in the back. My sharks are in the front. So I like the way that looks so far. Let's add some more splatter. So I'm gonna repeat this process and I'm gonna add a lot of different splatters. And so different colors, different shades, different sizes and different orientations. I just wanna create sort of a random splattered backgrounds. Um, depending on how I kind of want that to look, I'm thinking maybe here. And again, I'm just gonna hit when I'm ready, control left bracket, and I'll do that as many times as I need to, to move it to the back. And so now we can start to see different colors and textures coming through. I can use any kinds that I want. So there's a whole bunch here that I can work with. Um, I would try to pick something that doesn't have a lot of transparency to it because transparency won't print well. So I'm looking here, I've got some alcohol ink options. And when I pull that up, even though it's really pretty, it's got a lot of transparency. And so that's not gonna print well. So you do want it to be a little bit more on the solid splatter side, um, but you can definitely get some different variations and whatnot. So here's another one that looks kind of cool. It's got some different splatters. This one might be a little bit more transparent than I'd like. Let's see. No, maybe not. That actually looks a little bit more solid than I thought it would be. Let's just go with that. I'm going to go ahead again, move that to the back. And so that looks kind of cool. I'm going to do a little bit more. I don't need it to be too much. Um, but again, whatever I can find that kind of looks like it goes well, I'm looking for something dark and I like this one here. Yeah, that one is good and dark and big and that can just sort of bring the whole thing home. So maybe I take that and I cover the whole design a little bit more with it. So maybe I don't want it to get cut off because I don't want any sharp lines. And so that's one thing you have to be careful of when it goes to print. If it's just cut off, you're gonna end up with a sharp line. So don't make it so big that we're cutting it off, but edge to edge certainly works well. I'm gonna take that and again, send it to you back and there we go. So now I really like the way this looks. I've got my sharks. I've got sort of just my random splatter background that looks kind of cool. If I wanted to at this point, I could put you know a splatter over the top of the sharks. If I wanted to, I'd want something to be really, you know, almost fine and misty if I was gonna do something like that. So maybe like this one here is a little bit fine and misty I could do and just sort of have it just sort of very lightly going over the top of the sharks if I wanted to. So it gets just a little bit on top there. And there's a bunch of those. Oh, these are all slightly different. So maybe one more. Rotate that one upside down maybe so it's a little bit different. Rotate it and put it over here. And now that one can just slightly go over the top of the sharks just a little bit. And so I like the way that that looks. And so that was just a really easy way to go about doing it. Now I've got my three separate graphics, but no one can say that any one of these graphics is a standalone because it would be hard to take this graphic out because you've got the splatter background now and a couple splatters over the top. And so just the way that those little graphics overlap each other and the way that we've combined them all together now makes this an original design. And so it is okay to make graphic only designs as long as you're overlapping graphics and you're using multiple graphics. And so this would be unique um, and nobody else would have a design quite like this one. So we're gonna just go ahead and I'm gonna put watercolor sharks. And that's pretty cool. And then we can just go ahead and download. So download, I'm gonna hit transparent background and click download and now this is ready to go. This would look good on a t-shirt, but it could also go on a poster. This could go on a blanket. This could go on a water bottle. Lots of different things that you could use this for. And because we used a variety of colors, it might look good on different color shirts as well. Obviously it looks great on a black shirt, but if I was to take the background color now and change it just so that you could see, that is how it would look on a white shirt. And that still looks pretty good, right? 
that's how it would look on a gray shirt. It blends in a little, but it looks nice. And so you can go ahead and see how it would look on different color shirts. And right now I'm liking this on most shirts, maybe not red, but um, you know, it looks pretty good on any of the cooler tones. So any of the darker tones or any of the cooler tones, it's gonna look pretty good on. Um, so that was all I wanted to show you. Another really quick, easy design, but it's fun. You can be creative. You can add as much or as little splatter as you want. Um, you could add shapes. You could do whatever you want just to make sort of a cool abstract style design. Um, and so that is it. I hope you guys liked this video. I hope you learned something. If you have any uh, requests for videos, drop it in the comment section below. I'll try to get back to you as quickly as I can. And I hope you guys are doing well with your sales. That's it for today's video. If you found that useful and would like to see more videos with helpful tips and tricks, be sure to hit like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of the weekly videos. As always, keep growing and stay creative and we'll see you next time.